welcome to another video and a community that believes weird is wonderful and magic is real. And speaking of magic, we're bringing on the magic in this video. We're doing a different sort of video. I don't know why I want to call it an advent calendar and I've been calling it that this whole time, but we are going to be doing the, I don't know, is it the first? Is it the first that Lush has done? Let me know in the comments down below. Maybe not. It's certainly the first I have gotten of their count down to Halloween advent calendar because is this not giving off the witchy vibes? And that's what we do here on this channel. It's the wizarding world that includes witches and witches have to bathe themselves. You know what I'm saying? I mean, she's been a long day. I could use a bath, so we might be doing that later. I don't know. Um, but I'm excited because we just do not get, well, we don't get advent calendars. We don't get countdown calendars for Halloween very often. I think I only know of one Harry Potter one. So when I can get my paws on something witchy, especially, oh my God, something that smells so good. Um, I'm gonna do that. And we're gonna do that. We have a few extra lush things that we picked up from their Halloween line, but I don't know what's in here and I'm excited to find out. It's apparently in here, but we don't wanna see that. We're gonna open it together. It is a countdown. It's one week, so seven days total. Let's see what's inside. Actually, first up, let's look at the outsides. How freaking cute. Kind of giving the Slytherin vibes with the colors, but really playful, really cute. Got some ghosties, some of that vintagey looking cat that so many people love and has been coming back. We got some bats and then it's got this little bow tie. So let's open it. And then the back is just the same thing. Oh my God, I've never gotten one. And I am contemplating, I'm contemplating getting one of the Lush Advent Christmas calendars. I gotta see if I can wrap my um, bank account around that, you know what I'm saying? Um, but it would be nice to do. I will say we'll be doing that over on the Beyond channel. We keep everything Harry Potter, witchy and magical on this channel. Everything else is going over there. Will we be doing advent calendars on that channel? Yes, we will. I don't know how many just yet, but um, we've already gotten two. Um, and possibly Lush will be another one. I don't know. We'll see how many funds are in the account there, but let's open this puppy. Also, if you didn't see me go to Lush, what are you doing? We went there on the Beyond channel, took you to the mall. I don't know if everything's hidden. It is hidden. Okay. She's new to me. I'm excited. Look at this. So here is the inside. We've got all the things that were on the outside. Pumpkins, bats, spiders, eyeballs. See, these are all the things you would find in the wizarding world. Okay, where's number one? Let's start with number one. It looks like we just pull this out and then we've got some like, what are these things called? I forget what they're called. Mmm, smells good. Watch there be nothing in here. Ooh, what are you? We've got a little jar. I wasn't expecting a jar. I was actually only expecting like um, bubble bars and bath bombs. What have we got? Ooh, a lip scrub. We did also double check or he double checked because I don't know everything that's in here that everything is vegan. Sadly, they don't label the whole thing vegan, but if you look at all the ingredients as he did, um, they are all vegan. And this one is a lip scrub. I don't think I have a lip scrub. It's not a thing I really have done much, but I wouldn't mind doing it. And it's called Bat Current. Look at it. It's this cute little jar and it looks like it's like a purpley situation. Let's open it up and smell it. Don't leave dry lips hanging. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm not trying to be dramatic. Look at that. That smells good. It is like a purple glittery lip scrub. Um, now that I'm getting it everywhere. Now that I have been wearing some lipstick. Um, most of the lipsticks that I pick aren't super drying, but these matte like liquid lipsticks I have heard can be quite drying to your lips. So we want to take care of our lips and this is the way to do it. Um, we've got all the oils. I do use jojoba oil. It matches my skin quite well. Um, yeah, black currant. I'm smelling the black currant quite strongly and I'm really liking it. That is like, that is a really playful fruity scent. Like I could eat that. Let's not eat that. Is this sugar? Could I eat it? Could I technically eat it? <laughs> Probably not the hope oil. Oh my God. I'm excited to take care of myself. I gotta find the time to do it, but that is box hole, hole number one. <laughs> number two, eyeballs. Is it eyeball oriented? This one was not pumpkin oriented. Um, we open up. Okay. Oh, oh, the whole the whole shebang is coming out now. Ooh, I think. 
inside we've got some sort of, it feels like a bubble bar. So these don't come in any kind of packaging, so I don't actually know what it is. This is one that I wanted to get. So one of their scents, um, or one of their uh, bubble bars, they have a, a bigger one, is called Hocus Pocus Socus. I love me a play on words, and I love me some Hocus Pocus, and apparently this isn't the big one, it's a smaller one. Mm. Oh my god, my nostrils, I can't take it. So good. So if you are not familiar with the bubble bars, they are like a bubble bath, but instead of pouring the liquid, you just break off a bit. So you can really make this last a long time, especially the big bars, you can make them last quite a long time. Um, and they're really fun. And depending on like the colors, sometimes they'll have glitter in them, but depending on the colors, they can also give you a nice like colorful, playful bath situation. I am, I love me some lemongrass. You love some lemongrass, so this is perfect. Um, and we, you know, sharing is caring. We will be sharing these suckers because we gotta get through them just in case we get ourselves a Christmas advent calendar. Um, but we're on spooky season right now. That was number two. Number three up here. It feels so weird to be doing something that's like an advent calendar. We need to count down to the Halloween season more often. All these wriggly bits out, come out with ya. What are you? Okay. Okay. Oh, the wriggly bits are all up in this. We have ourselves a pumpkin pie scented soap. I haven't smelled it yet. We did see this in the store when we went on the Beyond channel. Um, there was a gigantic jack-o'-lantern. It's got little hearts for eyes. How cute. So it's supposed to smell like pumpkin pie? No? What does it supposed to smell like? That is not pumpkin pie, that's for sure. Maple sap and pumpkin puree. That is different. That is a scent I have never smelled. I don't know how I feel about that one. It feels cleansing. It feels cleansing. It smells cleansing. It's not one I would normally gravitate toward. Um, she is like, she's soapy. I mean, and she is cute. It's a little jack-o'-lantern with little heart eyes. Can you go wrong? And you just can't go wrong with soaps. We do mostly use bar soaps. We treat ourselves a little bit occasionally, um, to the shower gel at Bath and Body Works. And I probably would at Lush too. Although <laughs> pricey, I showed you one of them that is so pretty. It's this red one. I forgot what it was called. $40 for the large thing. Can't do, I can't be doing that. I can't be doing that. Um, so that is item number three. We have a soap, a lip scrub, and a bubble bar. That's what they're called. All right, day four. We're getting batty. We're getting batty, you guys. Can we manage to keep it in the box here? It's when I pull out the wriggly bits. Oh my God. Did I pull it all out? Is it in there? Are you, is there, is there something inside? Oh, we are actually getting batty. I know this one. This one, oh, can you get out, buddy? This one, I think it comes out every year. Um, I've had this one before and I love it. And if I remember correctly, so it is a bat shape. It's kind of more of a generic bat, like it doesn't have your typical wings. Um, so I guess not generic, I guess they did their own thing, but it's super glittery. And I feel like, cause it's been a little while, I feel like this one gives like a purple, like a rich purple vibe um, color wise in your bath. Um, but again, like with their bath, with anything, but their bath bombs included, you don't need to use the whole thing to really get the experience. I'd probably use half of this if that, um, and it's not even a super large one, but this is a full size one that we're getting in here. Everything so far is pretty well full size. There is a bigger version of this, um, but this is the full size of that. We are officially batty as if we weren't already. We've only got three left. Okay, that was four. We are on to number five. We have a cat. Do we get a cat? She's a long one. So not a bath bomb? What are we? Oh, it opens this way. There's a little notch. We must pay attention. Where are we? I don't know what this is. Countdown to Halloween. Don't need that. Don't need that. All right, what's inside? Oh, oh, we were looking at this one. Isn't this called, hold on, let me get it out. Isn't this called Magic Potion? Mmm, Magic Potion. Wizarding World, witchy, anybody, it's a potion. Look at it. I mean, I feel like the colors that this is gonna give off in the bath is gonna be so much fun. Um, we even have the little like crystal topper kind of plug-in thing. Watch the bright colors, fizz and pop. Casting a spell across enchanted elixir waters is what it says, I am told. Oh, so she's gonna be at quite a magical experience, as one should be when you're putting a potion 
I was why was I going to say in your toilet? <laughs> you might need to do that occasionally <laughs> in your bathtub. Um, but yeah, that is a lot of colors going on there. You can even see the back. We've got some pink and definitely the glitter. I love the glitter. And I'm pretty sure the glitter that they use, so there are things where they use a glitter that is actually plastic based, but not with Lush, which I do appreciate. And everything, like I said, is vegan and also not tested on animals. We love it. Okay, that was, can we, we are getting glitter everywhere. The one downside of wearing black. Okay, five. We are now on to number six. I wasn't expecting that one to be in there. So what is gonna be in this long one? A ghosty? They do have a ghosty one. I know of it because I've gotten it before. Is it in there? Where are you? Oh, it's not. Oh, we have a, t a tub. We have a tube of some kind. What have we got? Ghost in the dark shower gel. Oh, they really went hard with the lemongrass. Like, I'm fine with it. I'm fine with some lemongrass. If you don't like lemongrass, that's at least two items that you might not vibe with. Um, but it is a shower gel. A nice little treat yourself for me. Uh, oh, she's sealed. Okay. We want to smell it. Thank you very much. Okay. I'm just gonna. Hmm. That's it. That's I'm trying to see. Oh, fresh lemon juice and lemongrass. Those are the scents that are coming off into my nostrils. Not as strong as one would expect. I will say she's a subtle scent. Definitely feels super cleansing. Um, I would say I preferred the red one that we saw over this one, but I love me a shower gel. Okay, oh my god, we're on the last one. Day seven, we have got wriggly bits everywhere. Let's add to it. What do we got in here? Oh, the classic. The classic one. We've got uh, a jack-o'-lantern bath bomb i don't remember so i've definitely gotten this jack-o'-lantern this is a classic one um it's it's just it's just the og halloween vibe you know but i'm pretty sure it's also one of their og items when they come out with halloween stuff because we've definitely got it before pumpkin pumpkin bath bomb beware the things that go punk in the night and fill your bath to the brim with fright love i play on words Lime oil, okay, orange oil, mandarin oil, I was getting, and then also organic pumpkin powder. I was getting the citrus vibes. Mm, citrus meets pumpkin. I dig it. That, that's definitely a fall vibe. Nice one to finish on. But that may be the end of the not so advent calendar. <laughs> even though I want to call it that. That may be the end of the countdown. We did get ourselves a few more things, if I can find them. Where are they? So I didn't know what was in this advent calendar. So when I saw things at the store and I was like, I like that, um, he let me know whether I should go ahead and get it, meaning it's not in the advent calendar. So what did we get? We have four things to show you. One of them was just a little like add-on thing that they gave us. Um, let's go in the order of things. Uh, oh, well this actually, let me show this. This is his favorite right side is what this one's called, and it's a bubble bar. So when I was saying there are bubble bars that are much bigger, this is the size. This is gonna give you like at least four baths, I'm gonna say. Um, mm, anyway, we got that one, that's his go-to. He he went and gone to it, you know what I'm saying? What, mandarin and bergamot are the main scents on that one? So if you like that. And then, I really wanted this because I did lurk the Halloween section um, and this one, because like I said, it's given off the witchy vibes. Um, this ad, not advent calendar, this countdown box. Um, and that's what we do here on this channel. And this one is called Witchy Woo, okay? And the colors right now, are you kidding me? Look at it. We got the black and the green. Oh my God. Now let's see, okay, because we had a theory. That is a demon, a dancing demon. Anybody get it? <laughs> we had a theory that these are basically the same scent, which is kind of weird to have two different things if they're the same scent. So I'm going to smell the Hocus Pocus Socus and the Witchy Woo and see if they're the same scent. I feel like they're different. This one is stronger in the lemon and lemongrass. I feel like they're different. And obviously, if they were the same, this one is going to give a different appearance in your bathtub because it's got some black in there as well as the green. We're gonna get a nice swirly business. I'm excited. Oh my God. Sometimes for, for some reason, buying stuff like this is so hard for me when it's a treat yourself. Like 
I didn't mention the price tag on the countdown. It is $75. So that can feel like a lot. Now, to be fair, we are sharing this um, and it will last a lot of baths, but it is also a good reminder to take care of yourself and you are allowed to treat yourself to things like this. So hopefully this video is a reminder of that. Treat your daggone self. I feel like they're, I feel like they're a little different. Okay. And then the third item before we get to the little freebie is this, um, soap and it's called demon in the dark soap tell me in the comments down below what vibe is this giving you so they have these big blocks of soap and um then they cut them and the way this one was cut it was perfect it just was perfect and i'll tell you the vibes it gave me but here it is look at this bar of soap so we've got this skull like it's inside it because the outside is kind of almost like a translucent thing Almost, no, maybe not, maybe not at all. Um, she's green and you can see that's where it was cut. So it does continue like it was the full head, but I love it. I love the green. I love how the teeth just like pop. It's giving me the Borgen and Burks vibes. Anytime I see a skull, I think Borgen and Burks and um, oh, the teeth are even elevated. Look at that. Can you see? They're like a little bit higher. Apple juice, clove and peppermint. Mmm, I really like this. Now I will say, obviously depending on how much you get cut is these are weighed, so that will vary in price. This right here was $16, so a treat yourself for sure. I don't normally spend $16 on a bar of soap. This bar of soap will last us a while. Um, and it's gonna be really painful for me to use and see this poor little skull disappear over time. But also the green vibes gives me Slytherin-y vibes. Um, but yeah, that's the last like main like big item we got. And then they threw one in for me and she said, is there anything in particular that interests you? I was like, no, as long as it's vegan, I don't care. Throw in whatever you want. I just wanted it like Halloween-y. And so she gave me this shower gel. It's one of their little freebies and it's called Scan Me For Scares. Let's see, first of all, what color is it? Oh, this is the one I wanted, Manny. This is the one I wanted. I wasn't expecting that. Oh my God. If somebody wants to buy me a full size of this for $40, I would not be opposed, okay? Because it smells so good. What is this like a main, like this cherry, the main scent? Almond, cedarwood, and cranberry. But the look, the look is what drew me in. Let's see if we can get this on camera. Look at this. It is this like ruby red. I mean, it's like a Gryffindory red, but glittery, glittery galore. Can you see it on the top of this? Oh my God. But almond, cedarwood, and cranberry. Kind of fits the Thanksgiving vibe, actually. Oh my God. Look at that photo. Can you want to give that to me? This is, this is the photo that Lush is using for this product. Look at this guy putting it, lathering, lathering up the blood on his arms, lathering up the scan. He's being scanned for scares for sure. It smells so good. Oh my God. I'm excited to use this um, and get glitter all over myself. I love me some glitter, but yeah, that was the little freebie. This was so fun. This is making me really tempted to get the advent calendars. I will say the advent calendars are not cheap and they have them from like, they have three different kinds. They've already got them like, available to look at. I don't think they ship yet, but anyway, they're they're like $250 to $300 plus. So we gotta really commit if we're gonna do it and know we're gonna use all of them. So we need to get started on these. Um, but yeah, that is a wrap. We have us a Halloween countdown. I'm so excited. Now I can actually enjoy it, but I wanted to show you guys what is in it, the smells, all the goods, so you can decide if you wanna get it. But I hope you're also joining us and counting down to Halloween. Boy, do we have some Halloween coming at your eyeballs. I'm so excited. And I also have a theme I need to work on. Um, but uh, that's why I'm gonna need a whole bunch of baths, okay? Because we're gonna get sweaty. We're gonna get sweaty and disgusting. And we're also gonna need some rest. Um, and I'm rambling on at this point, but. That is a wrap, you guys, on Lush. It is one of my favorite places to treat myself. Let me know in the comments down below if you're a Lush goer, or as the lady said, if you're a Lush human, um, what is your favorite scent? What is your go-to? Do you have a go-to for Halloween? Do you have a go-to for Christmas? Because that's coming up too, and we will be going out to the stores Christmas time. I'd love to know in the comments down below, but until next time, my magical friends, no, I'm gonna list this one up. Remember, to love what you love with everything you have and keep making magic and stay spooky. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.